Are you one of those people who always is stumped when you look in your closet and you're trying to find something to wear to that next big occasion? Well, we, we have the answer for you. The queen of chic, Amy Scalia, is here this morning. We're going to decode the dress codes because you see it on the RSVPs all the time. You know, mm -hmm. this is this is formal. This is business casual. This right. is a what is it now? Right, so. right. And, you know, with different trends, they're always kind of changing and kind of being mm -hmm. tweaked a little bit. So this is an update on some of the biggest attire trends. Okay. Yeah. Well, some of the big question marks. That's right. Well, yep. let's start with business casual because okay. that seems like it can be a whole lot of things. It is. It is. And it's kind of confusing because you're mixing business with fashion and it's like, how do you do this? I right. want to still stay professional, but I want to look cute. Okay. So, um, so what we have with our model here, uh -huh. and we got all these fabulous models from John Casablanca, so big thank you to them. But she's wearing head to toe Jennifer Lopez. So okay. um, what, we've done, we, what we've done with this is that you don't necessarily, just because it's business, have to wear a suit and be boring. Like with this, it's got hey, some fun. Hey, hey. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Well. <laughs> <laughs> We've taken a new take on business and uh, and kind of the business attire. Like with mm -hmm. this, we have some fun. It's not your typical silhouette with your hard edges. We have some fun flouncy Flowy. materials. Uh -huh. And Look also... May I? Mm -hmm. A little detail going <laughs> yes, on with that? Yes, yes. Yeah. And so you've got a little bling. And that's also nice, too, for after hours if you want to take this off mm -hmm. and then go out to girl... You know, like if you want to have cocktails with your girlfriends and things like that. But we have pops of color uh -huh. to show that it's spring. I'm having fun. I'm young. Too. And fun. Uh, and yeah, and we can incorporate lots of different yeah. things. And for after hours, because for business, you do want to have closed toed. You do mm -hmm. want to mm -hmm. cover your shoulders and be professional. But after hours, you can have fun, take off the jacket, have some open toed shoes, color, all so of that. You just throw those shoes in here and off you go. That's right. right. You got Easy it. Enough. You got Easy it. Enough. I hope you get that business deal. You look <laughs> wonderful. I really do. <laughs> How about, right. what's, what's next? Well, this is resort chic or kind of like a dressy but not formal. Mm. Okay. And yep. this is what you would wear to like an outdoor wedding, mm -hmm. which is okay. going to be happening a lot with all right. that great weather you're going to be bringing Let, us. Let's go with that, sure. <laughs> and uh, so we have a Jennifer Lopez maxi dress here, and it's nice and easy and flowy. It's uh, And I've paired it with some great shoes yeah, that are fun and floral, adorable. and you can do the open-toed for this, and you can have fun with the embellishments, mm -hmm. and uh, we have some great jewel uh, accessories here today so she's got a great jewel clutch and um, all of these different accessories but you can dress it down too. Which part is it that makes it appropriate? Is it the length that's that's the right way to go or if you did something that was a little higher would that be okay? Well it's also it's kind of First of all, it's a dress, so you want to be wearing a dress if it is for like a wedding and things like that. It's more appropriate, especially for women. Sure. Well, <laughs> for women, <where> <laughs> <laughs> um, but you know you can do dressy separates and that kind of thing too. But uh, I've seen Marshall's knees. Right, yeah, you're right. Gosh, it's we want to we want to keep them in slack. But um, <laughs> but what makes it more appropriate is that it's that fine, delicate balance between a dress but a casual dress. Mm -hmm. gotcha. So the material, the cut, the pattern, those Very types playful. of things. Playful and sexy. Yes. Yeah. And so yeah. we have embellished flats if you want to make it a little bit more casual, mm -hmm. um, a bigger bag, that kind of thing. So you can kind of ebb and flow this. You can make it even more dressy by having a belt with it. So you can really dress this up or down. I, I like just, it. Very can nice. Just, can I embarrass you for a moment? Uh -oh. Show us your toes. Ah! Did you see this? Aren't those pretty? She did. She did each each toe with a different, oh, different color. color. Oh, different colors. I haven't that? seen that before. <laughs> and they wow. all match. And they You've match. got a lot of time on your hands. <laughs> That's awesome. All right. All right. Next up. Next look is cocktail attire. And this is kind of the biggest new trend that you're going to see. Mm -hmm. You're going to see this on everything from business invites to like an after hours um, networking event. Or you'll see this at um, like galas and fundraisers and right. that kind of thing. Uh -huh. um, so I'm this... sorry. Did I, did I hear someone say cocktail? Oh, cocktail. hello. How are you? I just wanted to make sure that. <laughs> we can't forget you know. the guys. You've got to have the, oh, the, the right yeah, tops. Right? Yes. Well, he's a little bit more formal, so this is an example of black tie. Very so you're going nice. to see black tie you and then... Did that yourself? <laughs> um, no. Just say yes. <laughs> yes, I did. <laughs> you are looking good. Look yes. at you. And this is a, uh, a Ralph Lauren double RL tuxedo. Mm -hmm. um, but what's really cool with this is that, you know, you know that I'll take any opportunity to wear a tuxedo I can get because I love to dress up right. like this. Yeah. Um, but then you can, guys can have a little fun, too, like with the cufflinks. 
Um, I found these that were actually pretty cool. I don't know if you can see that, but they're little skulls and crossbones. Ooh, oh, little edge. red eyes. So even though you're supposed to stay kind of, you know, just in the, the regular black, and if you do wear a pocket square, only white, but you can dress it up a little bit with. Yeah. I know you can't hear it at the moment, but the 007 beers. <laughs> oh, but I like if that. You're, if you're headed out, you decided to go not with just a little black dress. Right, right. And that's what's fun about being able to dress this up in this, mm -hmm. this trend is that you can have a little bit of fun. Pete's wearing black tie. She's wearing a little bit more like black tie optional okay. where if Pete was going with her he would go without the um, the bow tie and he would be a little bit more relaxed you just have to wear you know a dark suit you can wear a tux but it's optional you would still look fantastic as a bomb yes. girl <laughs> and this is Jennifer Lopez I love this dress it's actually a really um, great fabric it doesn't wrinkle it's more That's of a really cotton clear. and it just Hugs in every curve, and you can dress this up or down. You can put some pearls with it. You can put more, you know, open-toed or darker accessories with it, to, just depending on uh -huh. the um, the season. Fantastic. Yeah. Thank you. Nice. No problem. We feel ready for the season. <laughs> we do. I'm ready for a cocktail. Hello. Hello. Amen. I'm going to have to wait another few months for that. Yeah. Yeah. I'd like to order the rest of my dinner from you. Yeah. Oh, well, thank you, ma'am. I'll, I'll get that for you right oh, away. Would you, you like to see a wine list? <laughs> okay. Do you know me? <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much, Amy. We yeah, appreciate it. If you want to know more about the Queen of Chic and all she has going on, go to myfox28columbus.com and click on News Links.